Check. Check. And Bob courtesy Cunye. All right. And now we're going to start a warm up. Okay. Everybody stand up. Okay, the first stretch. Okay, hot back riding stand. Hot back riding stand. Toad forward. Okay, toad forward. Knee bend. And on your knees. And then turn your shoulder to the one side. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, and then come with me. Hana! Hana! Two. Two. Set. Set. Net. Net. Tassa. Tassa. Yes. Yes, sir. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, then. Yeah, then. Uh -huh. Yo. Yo. Good. Switch. And then shoulder. Hana. Hana. Two. Two. Set. Set. Net. Net. Tas. Tasa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, then. Yeah, then. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo. Yo. Good. Okay, and neck, elbow. On your knees. Right, and turn. See, one side again. Hana. See if you can go lower. Hana. Two. Two. Ses. Set. Net. Net. Tas. Tasa. Yes. Yes, sir. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, then. Yeah, then. A half. A half. Yo. Yo. Swish. And then the shoulder. Hana. Hana. Two. Two. Set. Set. Net. Net. Tas. Tasa. Yes. Yes, sir. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, then. Yeah, then. A half. A half. Yo. Yo. Good. Okay. And next, everybody jogging in fresh. Not move. Okay. Good. Yo. Jogging in place. Yeah. Keep, Keep your hands your up. Heel. Right? Heel. Up. Not. Oh, I got. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> and keep switch your hand. Okay. Where is it go? Where is it go? We say go fast. Fat fish, okay? Good job. Okay, ready. Jogging. Ready and go! Good, 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 good. And stop. Jogging. Jogging, jogging. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. Just slow down. Ready and go! Good and slow. Shocking. One more time. One more time. Ready. More fast. Ready. You can keep rolling. Ready and go. And slow. Good job. Okay. Next. Next one. Do like jumping jack, right? Hop and grab your hand under your, your legs. Okay, hop and clap your head. Hop and clap your head. Okay, ten times. Ready? Okay. Hana. Two. Set. Net. Toss. Yes. Go. Yadon. A hop. Yeah. Good job. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. Don't stop, guys. Go. Good. Yep. Owen and Justin. One more keep time. Coming. One more time. One more time. Ready and go. Hana, two, set, net, toss, yes, go, yeah, a half, yeah, good job. Okay, and next, jumping jack, jumping jack, jumping jack, ready and go. Hana, two, set, net, toss, yes, go, yeah, a half, yeah. Good. Very good, Grand. Good job. One more time, one more time. Jumping jack, one more time. Ready and go. Hana. Two. Set. Net. Toss. Yes. You go. Yeah. Hop. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Okay. And neck. Stretching. All right, stretching now. Okay. Okay, everybody, feel together, butterflies. Try to put your knee down. Okay, feel together, pull your, your foot, crush your body, and then put your knee down. Good. 
Good, good, good. All right, ready. Hana, two, set, net, toss. Yes, you go. Jaden, I hope. Yeah, good. Keep butterfly. Okay, and then go to the right side. Both hand, both hand. Right side. Try to keep in butterflies stance. So Gwen, keep your leg. And yeah, there you go. And turn your body, twist your body. Ready? Hana. Two, set, net, toss. Yes. You go. Yeah. Then. I hope. Yeah. Good. And go to the other side. Ready. Hana. Two, set, net. Yes, you did go. Yeah, then. I hope. Yeah, good. Okay, and then one leg out. One leg out. One leg out. Toes down. Okay, look at my toes. Right, toes down. Keep your toes fresh. Okay, and then both hand and we re forward. Okay, and how with me? Hana, two, set, net, toss, yes, you go, yeah, then, a hoof, yeah, same leg, keep you, pull your toes up, right, just pull your toes up, right, toes down, toes up, just toes up, right, Hana, two, set, net, toss, yes, you go, yeah, then, a hoof, yeah. Next, switch. Other foot, keep your toes down. Okay, good job. Good job, everybody. Right, keep your toes down and then three. Then touch the toes. Hana, two, set, leg, touch, just, you go, yeah, then, I hope, yeah. Next one. Toes up, just toes. Okay, good job. Ready? Hana, two, set, net, toss, just, you go, yeah, then, I hope, yeah. Good, okay, and neck. Sitting on your knees. Come on, your knees. Good. And your head into the one side. Good. Good job. And switch other side. Leg. Chin up. Neck, chin down. Okay, then. last one. Right, we forward, we forward, we forward. <laughs> Child's pose, guys. Right, on knees. Right, and then lean forward. Next, this is one hand. Go through out of your arm to the other side. Try to pull one arm through. Yes, your outstretched hand. Good. Good job. Alright, and next, switch on the side. Good, okay. And then stand up.
All right, guys, good job. Now, let's move on to our lesson. Okay, right. and then everybody feet together. Right? Like, feet together. Let the basic a little bit. Kung it. And bow. Uh, good. good job. Okay, and then to be. One. Six. Step out your left foot. Right, your left foot, your left foot. And two. Down. Yeah, yeah, should be. Good okay. job. And next, punch it should be. Right? So one. Gwen, Gwen, can you join us? We're going to do a listening drill. Why don't you come off the wall? Your right side. Yeah. Step back your right foot. Right? And then, drop with your hand. Good. Try again, try again, try again. Try again. Bring your both arms behind and bump. Right? So show us your kicking stance. We're gonna do our kicking stance right now. Alright. Kicking stance. Ten times. Ready. On my house. One. Two. Ready. Start behind. Hana. Hacks. Two. Set. Nine. Toss. Yes. Here you go. More power, strong, yellow. Good job, guys. A half. Good. Very good. Okay, and next, other side, other side, the other side, All right? Other side. Okay, ready. We want to practice having a really good kicking stance right now. Okay, guys. Ready. Hana. Two, set, net, toss, yes, it goes, yarn, a horse, girl. Very good, everybody. And next one, next one, next, right? Kicking stand on my cow and Good kicks, right? Hey! Okay. You try to good kicks by yourself. Say hey! Okay. Ready? Hana! Hey! Good. Make sure you have a loud key up. Two. Hey! Set. Hey! Net. Hey! Toss. Hey! Yes. Good. Switch. The other side. Good. Ready. Hana. Hey. Stronger. 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 Okay. Two. Ha. Set. Ha. Net. Ha. Toss. Ha. Okay. Good job, everybody. Good. Okay, and next one. Right? We forgot on kicks. Alright, now we're going to try those kicks that we're working on for our belt test. Yeah. Yesterday, right? I think you... Uh, you remember? We had to <laughs> share, right? Kicks with the fun kicks, right? Today, today, a little bit special, right? together right sit down all right, all right. we're gonna try those sitting kicks again this is a great yeah. way for us to really work right. on our technique without having to focus on balance we'll do our balance drill after this yeah okay all right right time you practice practice right just snap right just snap now today today a little special right Lift your, your bottom up, snap, a little bit high, yeah. Oh, see how he's got right? He's only right. on his hands and one foot, so okay. bring your bottom off the ground. Step one, step one, <laughs> look the video first, right, step one, step one, 
Step two, snap. Yeah. Yeah, good. Very good. Okay. Step one, up. Step two, snap. Yeah. Good. Okay, ready. On my house, on my house, ready. One. Two. Very good. Reset. Ready? One. Two. Good job. Reset. One. Two. Good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Put your hand, not elbow. Thank you. Thank you. Use your hands. Thank you. Use your hand. Yeah. Use your hand. Step one. Right? Step one. Step one up. Step two, snap. Yeah. Good job, good, good job. Ready? Step one. Step one. Everybody pop. Step one. Step two. Snap. Good job. Step one. Two. Snap. Really good. Okay. And switch. Other side. Okay. Right? Step one again. Step one up. Step two. Snap. Good, good. guys. Good, 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 good. Right? Step one. Look like crab walk, right? Step one. Step two. Snap. Yeah. You said. Step one. Step two. Good. You said. One. Up. Two. And snap your foot out. Good. Strong, Reset. guys. Two more time. <clears throat> One. Two. Very good. Reset. One. Two. Good job. Good job, everybody. Okay, and next one. Last one. On my cows. On my cows. On my cows. Okay. When I cows, Hana. Snap, boom. Okay, and sit. And have a seat. Okay, ready. Hana, up. Snap, boom. First, keep going. Good job, guys. Two. Set. Next. Yes, sir. Here it goes. Yeah, then. A horse. Yeah. Good. Okay, and next. Switch. Last one, switch on the side. Left foot. Ready. Ready. Put your hand behind. Ready. Hana! Good. Turn! Snap stronger. Yeah, strong. Good job. Set! Good. Net! Tuss! Yes! Here you go! Yeah then! A hook. Good job, guys. Yeah. Last one. Okay, good All job. Right. Everybody stand up. Good. Relax your arm, your shoulder. She go to. Yes, okay, good job. Everybody's check. Thanks, Mr. Tomalet, and bow. Okay, good job. Clap your hand. All right. Go on to our balance drill with instructor Owen. Okay, we're gonna do something called a pumse. Pumse is the Korean word. The Japanese word is kata. The English word is a form, okay? And a form again is a memorized pattern. It's memorized movements. We're gonna go one direction and do something, we're gonna go the other direction. Usually you do a block and then a counter strike. 
okay? And we're gonna practice this, we're gonna memorize it, and a form is something you can do on your own, you don't need a partner, you even don't need a lot of space to do it, okay? Now I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna face this way. And the reason why, again, is because if I'm watching you and I tell you to raise up your right arm, okay? This is my left arm. The camera view, that would be your right side, right? So I don't wanna confuse you guys. If I say, okay, I'm bringing up my right arm, that'd be your right arm on the opposite side, not on that same side. So I'm gonna fa face this way so it's easier to just do what I do, right? So face me and follow along, okay? So we're gonna start off now. Again, more advanced is chambering. Chambering is instead of just coming here and, and doing a block, I'm bringing my arms up and getting ready and blocking. If I'm doing a punch, I don't just punch. I bring my other arm up and I step and punch in my other arm chambers. These are small little details. When I do a high block, I don't just go high block. I start in chamber here and then high block. This is more advanced. You can watch what I do, try to do what I do, but if you don't get those details, that's fine. All that matters is the basic technique. So the very start of the form is a low block, and it starts like this, low block. Okay, now what I just did there, I'll show you this way, is I chamber like this, and then I low block, okay? If nothing else, just low block. Ideally, have your other hand here. If you wanna do it like me, where I bring my arm up, great. That's extra credit. Okay? You don't have to get that. Right now, just focus on the memorization of that form and then eventually try this. Now, if you ever watch instructor Alex do this, he'll do the chamber slightly different. It's not that his way is wrong, it's just slightly different. Uh, those of you that knew Master Tom Lott, he did it very differently than I did for the chamber. But here's the thing, we all end with a low block. That's the right technique, it's a low block, okay? But how we get there might be slightly different. I don't care which way you do it. All I care about is if you do it one way, when you go the other way, do the same thing. Whatever that is, do it the same way and focus on the overall picture. Low block, that's the overall picture. What's the stance? That's the overall picture. Okay, so let's try this out. This is Taeguk 1, also known as Taeguk Iljong. Okay, I'm gonna start off in Jumbi. Ready position. Okay, here we go, ready? So first, one is gonna be a low block. Left arm and left leg. Left arm, left leg, let's come back to Jumbi. So left arm, left leg. Step to your left, low block. Okay, left arm, left leg. Now, step forward, punch. Right arm and right leg. Make sure I'm not like this. This is the opposite, right? I wanna be like this, same arm and same leg, okay? Now I'm gonna go the other direction. Here, low block. Same arm, same leg. Right arm, right leg is in front of me. Now, step forward, punch. Same arm, same leg. Now you're gonna to step towards me into a deep stance. Front stance, deep stance. I'm gonna do a low block and I'm gonna punch. Now, in this form, whenever I go this way or whenever I go this way, it's a walking stance. A walking stance, it's very narrow, okay? It's not that narrow, this is what I mean. It's about shoulder width, just like that, okay? I wouldn't step like this. I'm not stepping out deep. It's a walking stance. How do you walk? Uh, do people walk like this? No, that looks ridiculous, right? How do we walk? Okay, I walk like this. That's your stance then. Okay, so when we go this way, walking stance, easy. Punch, walking stance, easy. Other direction, walking stance, easy. Punch. When I go this way or this way, it's gonna be that deep stance. So this stance is wider than my shoulders and my legs are really wide here, this way, deep, right? So deep stance, also known as a front stance, okay, like this. If I'm facing you, it looks like this, okay? Okay, so let's try this again, ready? Jumbi, ready position. Okay, left arm, left leg, to the left. We're gonna do a low block, ready? One, low block. Two, step forward, punch. Three, other direction, low block. Four, step forward, punch. Five, step towards me, deep stance, low block, and punch. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, here we go, ready, Jumbi. Okay, one, left arm, left leg. Step to your left. Okay, here we go, ready? Jumbi, left arm, left leg, low block, to your left, go, one. Okay, two, step forward, punch. Two, step, same arm, same leg. Other direction, turn towards me all the way around. Three, low block. Bring your arm up, four, step forward, punch. Now, step towards me, deep stance, low block, and punch. 
Okay, let's do that again. Ready? Jump beat. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, low block. Two, step forward punch. Three, low block. Four, step forward punch. Five, low block. And punch. Very good. One more time. One more time. Then we'll move on. Ready? Left arm, left leg. One, low block. Two, step forward punch. Three, low block. Four, step forward punch. Five, low block, deep stance, and punch. Okay, good. Now, line two. Line two is the opposite of line one. So line one started same arm, same leg to the left. Left arm, left leg, to the left. Now we're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg, to the right. Okay, so everybody start like this. From here, bring up your left arm. Tap your right leg. I'm gonna to go to the right with my right leg. So this leg here, and I'm gonna in block. Opposites, my right leg is in front of me, my left arm. It's not like this, this is the same arm, same leg, right? So opposites. Then from here, step forward, punch. Opposites. Bring your arm up, turn towards me, all the way around. In block, opposites. Step forward, punch. Opposites. And now deep stance, low block, and punch. Okay, so let's try line two. Both feet together, raise your left arm, tap your right leg. Step to your right, in block. Okay, now from right here, step forward, punch. Raise up your arm, turn towards me, all the way around, in block. Good, step forward, punch. Now you're gonna step to the front, deep stance, low block, and punch. Okay, let's do that again. Feet together, left arm up, tap your right leg, Step to your right, in block. Step forward, punch. Raise your arm up, in block. Step forward, punch. Good. Step towards me, deep stance, low block, and punch. Okay, again, both feet together. Raise your left hand, tap your right leg, step with your right leg, block with your left arm, in block. Step forward, punch. Raise your arm up, in block. Step forward, punch. Deep stance, low block, and punch. Good, one more time. Ready, feet together, left arm up, tap your right leg, step to your right, in block. Step forward, punch. Raise your arm up, other direction, in block. Step forward, punch. Deep stance, low block, punch. Okay, good. Now, let's put that together. Let's do line one and line two together, okay? So line one, left arm, left leg, to our left. Here we go, Jimmy, ready position? One, we're gonna go to our left, low block. Low block. Two, step forward, punch. Now the direction, three, low block. Four, bring the arm up, punch. Five, deep stance, low block, and punch. Okay, now, bring both feet together, we're gonna do line two. Raise your left arm up, tap the right leg. Step with your right, block with your left. In block, this is six. Seven, step forward, punch. Eight, other direction, in block. Nine, step forward, punch. 10, to the front, deep stance towards me, low block, and punch. Okay, let's do that again. Whole thing, ready? One and two. Jumpy. One, low block. Two, step forward, punch. Three, low block. Four, step forward, punch. Five, low block, and punch. Feet together, raise your left arm. Tap your right leg, step to your right, right leg, and block. Six, step forward, punch, action is seven, good. Eight, other direction, in block. Nine, step forward, punch. 10, deep stance, low block, and punch. All right, good, now, I'm doing an easy transition from line one to line two. So after I'm done with line one, I'm stepping up, bringing my arm up, tapping my right leg, stepping this way. The reality is there's not that transition. The reality is this is what it looks like. When I'm here, low block punch, I can do this. I go straight into the next technique. I'm just doing this so it's easier to learn right now. Okay, so do your best. Later on, we're gonna take that transition out, okay? Now we've done line one, we've done line two. Let's move on to line three, okay? So line three is the same as line one. Same arm, same leg, to the left. Left arm, left leg, to the left. So we're gonna start here, back of the hands together on my chamber. From here, I'm gonna to turn to my left, high block. Now from right here, my back leg is gonna do a front kick, and then punch. Now, chamber again, 
I'm gonna turn, turn towards me all the way around, 180 degrees, high block. From right here, front kick and punch. Now, instead of going this way, I'm gonna go the opposite direction. So you guys are gonna go away from the camera, okay? I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit so you can get more day. You can see better. Left arm and left leg to the back, deep stance. And now I'm gonna do one more step, punch and key up. So here, and that's it, okay? So let's try that again. So line three, feet together, back of the hands together. Same arm, same leg, going this direction, okay? This is move number 11, high ball. 12, kick punch. Other direction, this is 13. Turn towards me, high block. 14, kick punch. 15, left arm and left leg. That's the arm and leg in front of you. Step away from me towards back of the camera. Low block. And now take one more deep front stance and punch Kia. Okay, very good. Again, ready? All right. Feet together. Back of the hands together. It's number 11. Turn to our left. Left arm, left leg. High block. High block. Front kick punch. Back of the hands together, other direction. Turn towards me, other way. High block. Kick punch. Left arm, left leg to the back. Step into that deep front stance. And now take one more deep front stance, step forward, punch key up. One more time, then let's do the whole thing. Okay? Okay, Jumi. So our feet together, back of the hands together. Turn to our left, left arm, left leg. This is number 11, high block. 12, kick punch. 13, other direction, high block. 14, kick punch. 15, left arm, left leg to the back, low block. 16, punch key up. Okay, let's try doing the whole thing. Okay, all of it together. Good luck. If you don't have this memorized, that's fine. It takes time, okay? Here's the other thing too. There's some people I know that memorize forms really fast. And they do it, and they're like, I got it. They do it two, three, four times, and they have it. Here's the thing. In two, three, four days, they're gonna forget it. You have to do it over and over and over again. Even if you're not getting it. So I know some people that have a hard time. They're like, ah. Oh, I forget, I forget. That's fine, practice it again. Oh, but it's hard, yep. Here's the cool thing. If you're having a hard time memorizing it, for you, if you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it, you're gonna remember it longer. Most people that do it once or twice, they get it, they memorize it, it's short-term memory. You will forget it really quickly in a week. The person that does it again and again and again and again, and they think, well, why can't I learn it as fast? You're gonna get it better because you've been doing it over and over again. So just do your best. Don't be frustrated if you can't get this. Forms, for some people, are really hard to get. Just do your best. Just do your best. Go with me. Try your best. Let's see how you guys do, okay? Okay, so starting off, Jimmy. Okay, we're gonna do one. Low block, left arm, left leg, low block. Two, step for punch. Other direction, three, low block. Four, step for punch. Five. Deep stance towards me, low block, punch. Okay, now we're gonna do the easier transition, bring both feet together. Raise your left arm, tap your right leg, step to your right. In block, this is six. Seven, step for a punch. Eight, other direction, in block. Nine, step for a punch. 10, towards me, deep stance, low block, and punch. Okay, easy transition, both feet together, back of the hands together. This is 11, we're gonna go this way, high block. High block. 12, kick punch. 13, other direction, high block. 14, kick punch. 15, left arm, left leg to the back, away from me, ready, go. Low block. 16, step and drill front stance again, step forward, punch, key up. Okay, now, let's do that whole thing with the proper transitions. So at the end of line one, I'm not gonna do this, and go to here, and go to here, and go to here, and then go this way. Instead, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna go low block punch. This leg is gonna to slide towards my other foot, but stop right there so I can pivot. So here's the thing. If this foot steps way over here, what stance is this? It's a really deep stance. So I need this foot to come close to my other foot and then pivot, and now I'm facing this way. So the way you remember which way you go, 
the end of line one or the end of line two? Which leg is behind you? That leg is the direction you're gonna go. If my right leg is behind me, I'm gonna go to my right with my right foot. Okay, here's my in block and then punch, so on and so forth, okay? The end of line two, I'm like this. So now I'm going line three, so I'm going high block. Which leg is behind me? That's the leg I'm gonna step with, that's the direction I'm gonna go. Left leg to my left, and this is line three, so I'm doing a high block, okay? So again, try to do the transition with, with me. If you get a little bit lost, that's fine. You can always rewatch this and do it again and again, okay? Okay, so here we go. Whole part of Tango Kwan, Jumbi. Okay, ready? And begin. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, Aya! and but up. Then we bow and go back to Jumbi. That's the whole form. Okay, now we have this also. Instructor Alex did this. He went through it. You can watch that with him. If you don't want to go part one and then part two and then part three, if you want to just go through the whole form, that's a good one to watch with Instructor Alex. But anytime if you're feeling a little bit rusty, this would be a good one for you to go through. Do it, you get a bit of a workout from it. It'll be really good to practice. Hi, right, good luck. All right, moving on to our balance workout for today. Today we're gonna work on some leg lifts similar to what we did last week, but we're going to change our point of reference. So before we were leaving our foot in the same spot and switching between different kicks, and now we're gonna leave our other foot in the same spot and switch between different kicks. So let's go ahead and get started on those. So start facing forward, and all you're gonna do is pick your leg up, try to leave your head nice and tall, don't lean back when you pick your leg up. Leg up to the front, hold it, and down. And to the side, down, and back, and down, side, and that's one repetition. So we're gonna do three more, front, side, back, side, that counts as one. So if you notice, we're going between the same kicks we did last time, front kick, side kick, and kind of a hook kick shape. All right, let's do our three reps. Leg up to the front, and hold, and down, side, down, back, down, side, down, front, and side, and back, and side, and front, and side, back, side, good job, let's do the other leg, up in front, hold, and down, side, down, and back, down, side, down, up, up to the side, and back, and side, and one more, up to the front, down to the side, down, back, down, side, and good job. All right, now we're going to take out the brakes in that. So every time we're bringing our foot down between front kick, side kick, and the hook kick, now we're gonna leave our leg up the whole time. So this is a lot harder. So again, try to focus on keeping your balance and keeping your head up. So I don't want to lean back and counterbalance and then lean sideways and counterbalance and lean forward and counterbalance. I want to keep my posture nice and straight the whole time. So I'm going to lift my leg to the front and follow along to the side. Try to keep your head up and to the back and to the side and to the front and back and side. Oh, I mean now the side and in front. One more side and back and side and front. Good job. Let's try the other leg. <coughs> Up in front and turn it out to the side. Remember, don't lean over too far. Keep your head up nice and tall and straight. 
and to the back, and to the side, and front, side, back, side, front, side, back, last one, side. All right, good job. So that should make all of the muscles around here, around the top of your hip, really tired. If not, try it again and hold your leg up even higher than last time. All right, let's do a quick review of the exercise that we did last week. Now that we're working on our balance here, keeping our foot stable, let's try shifting that foot. So now I'm gonna put my foot out in front to start. I'm gonna turn sideways so that you guys can see me better. So I'm gonna start in my front kick shape, and then I'm gonna turn my standing foot so that it's a side kick shape. Then I'm gonna turn my standing foot again so it's a hook. Turn again, side, turn, and front. So you're using the same muscles. So I really want you guys to think about how your hips relate to each one of these kicks. Which way are your hips pointing when you do a front kick? And then when you do a side kick or a round kick? And then when you do a hook kick, think about where your belt is pointing. All right, let's try those. So lift your leg up for a front kick shape and turn your standing foot, side kick, and turn again, hook, try to keep your eyes on your foot, and side, and front, and let's try the other leg, front kick, side kick, hook kick, side kick, and front. Good job, so spend some more time on those ones if they're still challenging for you. They are challenging for me still as well. All right, now we're gonna look at some swing leg exercises. Again, similar to what we were doing last week, but we're gonna add some kicks coming out of these swings. So let's start with a front kick. So we're gonna swing in front and behind. Try to keep your knee relatively straight. Just do this for a minute, get your balance here. Use your hands if you want to help balance. And what you're gonna do is when you're in the back, with your knee straight, you're going to bend your knee, keeping your foot close to your hip, and then let it snap out in front. So this is different than the snap we normally do. Normally we snap and control it the whole way and control it back. This one you want it to feel loose. So it's going to look like this. Swing, swing, and snap. So see how my leg wasn't strong? It was loose. So let's try a few of those. Swing and bend your knee and pull your leg forward and let it whip on its own. Let's do two more, swing, and snap. Swing, and bend your knee, and whip. Good job, let's try the other side. Swing, get your balance first. And when your leg's behind you, you're gonna bend your knee Pull your leg out forward. Two more, swing, and bend, and whip. Last one, swing, and bend, and whip. Good job, now let's do a side kick. So for side kick, we have to swing sideways. So we're gonna do the same thing on this one, but our chamber position is a little bit different. So when my leg's over here, I'm gonna bend my knee and pull my foot up turn my foot over and kick out to the side. Important tip on a side kick, if you leave this foot here, you don't have any power. You need to let your foot pivot so your heel is pointing towards your foot. All right, let's try that one. Swing, do a few, get your balance, and then pull and snap out to the side. And I'm forgetting I should keep my eyes on my foot as well. I'll try to do that this time. Swing, and chamber, and kick. And let's do one more. Swing, chamber, kick, and step down. All right, good job. Now let's try the other side. Let's swing your other leg a few times, get your balance. And pull into chamber, 
and kick out. Good job. Swing. Pull. Kick. One more. Swing. And pull. And kick. Nice job. Now we've got one more kick. This one's kind of tough. So we're going to start from the same swing. And now instead of pulling into chamber, we're just going to swing our leg up a little bit extra high and then pivot our foot and bend this knee for a hook kick. And try to keep your eyes towards your target. So we'll swing and swing higher, pivot and kick. Two more, swing, find your target, pivot, kick. Last one, swing, pivot, kick. Good job. All right, other side, three more. Swing, look at your target, and pivot, kick. And two more, swing, pivot, kick. And swing, and pivot, kick. Nice job, all right. For our cool down, let's do one little yoga pose. This one's called tree. It's very relaxing, if you can get it right. So grab your foot, pull it up as high as you can on your thigh. You can't bend your knee this much, that's okay. You can put it lower right there. Get your foot as high as you can, and then you're gonna push your foot into your leg and push your leg back into your foot. So that combined strength, pushing everything towards center, makes everything really strong and stable. And then you can do the same thing with your hands. Just a little bit of pressure between your hands. Bring everything to center line. And try to find a spot where you can be still here. If you're wobbling around a bunch, that's okay. That's part of learning it. Maybe try to touch a wall with just one finger and see if you can make yourself stable. And then see if you can take that finger away from the wall. Bring your hand back to center and rest here. Let's do a couple breaths here. Trying to be nice and still and quiet. Good job. And switch sides. Bring your foot up high, press it into your leg, press your leg back into your foot. And catch your balance on a wall if you need to. And then try to bring your hands to center. Stand big and tall over your foot. And take a few quiet breaths right here. Very good job. All right. Thanks for working on your balance today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. All right, working on our meditation session. So we're gonna do three things. We're gonna do some exercises to calm down in the beginning. And then I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about time and how our brains think about time. And then with that stuff in mind, we're gonna do one more meditation at the end. So to start, find a comfortable spot to sit. Find somewhere to rest your hands where the weight of your arm can be supported on your legs. And stretch your spine up big and tall. Let your eyes close. And let's just do three big deep breaths in and out through your nose. Ready? Begin. Good job. So take a minute and notice if you feel calmer than you were 20 seconds ago, or if you feel more excited, more worked up, or more bored, whatever you feel is fine. Just take a minute and notice if closing your eyes and breathing for a minute changed anything about how you feel. All right, let's try one more exercise. So we're going to think about our spine this time. So every time you breathe in, try to stretch your spine up. And every time you breathe out, try to keep your spine big and tall and strong and just relax your shoulders down even more. So at the end of three more breaths, you should be sitting up as tall and straight as you can, but without any extra tension. So you want to be tight and stretching up. You just want to be relaxed and supported. All right, stretch your spine up to start. Allow your eyes to close and let's begin. Three breaths, focusing on lengthening our spine. Ready, go. Good 
good job. So now we're going to talk about time for a little bit. So you can divide time into three different sections. There's the present moment, what's happening right now, which is kind of a weird thing to think about because it's not the present moment anymore. That happened 10 seconds ago. So that one keeps moving through time really fast. But once the present has happened, it's in the past. So that's one of the other times you can think about. And the third one is things that haven't happened yet, things that are in the future. So we spend time thinking about all of those. When you're in Taekwondo class and you're sparring, you're probably thinking about the present. You're thinking about what's happening right now. But when you're at school, a lot of the times, things at school have a lot of planning. And you're thinking about what's going to happen in the future. What am I going to do next year? What class do I have to go to next? What subject are we going to do next? When do I have my next test? When is my homework due? You're thinking about the future a lot with school stuff. And also, with school, you end up thinking about the past a lot. You end up thinking about learning experiences that you've had before and how those can apply to new things that you learn or things that you're doing in the present. So thinking about, spending time thinking about each one of those times, the past, the right now, and the future, those are all good things to do. But there's kind of also a, I don't want to say bad, but there's versions of thinking about those things, especially the past and the future, that aren't always very helpful. So the future one is pretty easy to explain, so I'll do that one first. If I'm thinking about the future in a way that's not helpful, can you think of a word for that? What would you say I'm doing about the future? I'm worrying about the future, or I have anxiety about the future. So if there's a test coming up and I haven't planned for it, haven't prepared, and I don't think I'm going to do very good, say I have my black belt test coming up, but I don't know my forms and I haven't practiced enough, haven't done enough stretching, and I can't kick very high, I'm going to be pretty worried about that test because I'm not ready for it. So to reframe that worry into something more productive, if I had done my planning and my preparation and done a bunch of practice and sparring and worked on my forms, then I would feel better about thinking about the future and I wouldn't have to be so worried. So thinking about the past in that same way, uh, if you're thinking about the past in a way that's useful, you could be recalling and thinking about all of the learning experiences that you've had. So you could think about all the work that you've done in class for your black belt test, all the work you've done at home, learning your forms and stretching and focusing on your shadow sparring. So those are all positive things that you can recall from the past. If you were thinking about the past in a way that wasn't very useful, maybe something bad happened and you got really sad about it. It's okay to be sad, that happens to all of us all the time. But what's not useful is if you stay sad for a really long time. So if you get sad and you don't have a healthy, useful way to process those emotions, then you might stay sad for a really long time and then your head kind of gets stuck worrying about the past a bunch. So that's not very useful when it does happen. But the present, when was the last time anyone in school made you focus on the present the same way that we do in martial arts class? It doesn't happen as often, sometimes it does. There's some good teachers that encourage that. But a lot of times, focusing on the present moment is the thing that we forget to do. It's the thing that we forget to practice. So especially adults get stuck worrying about the future a lot or worrying about the past a lot and they forget to be present and pay attention to what's happening right now. So when we work on meditation, that is exactly what we're doing. It's like doing weight training for your muscles to make them stronger. When you do meditation, it's like weight training for your mind to make it better at paying attention to the present because that's the time that we need to practice more. It's easy to spend too much time worrying about the future or the past. It is very difficult to spend too much time focusing on the present, though that can happen too. All right, so with all of that in mind, using your meditation to keep your mind focused on the present moment, we're going to try two things at once. We're gonna try counting our breath. So you just breathe in and out normally, however it feels good, and count how many seconds it takes you to breathe in and out. And while you're doing that, I want you to pay attention to any sounds that happen wherever you are and just notice that sound and notice that maybe it distracted you a little bit from your counting and then come right back to your counting and start counting on your next breath. All right, find a comfy spot to sit. 
Stretch your spine out big and tall, relax your eyes and your hands, and let's begin. Good job, everyone. So were you able to keep counting your breaths and still notice some sounds without getting too distracted? That was pretty hard for me. Doing two things at once is very difficult. I forgot to keep counting a couple times and got distracted by some sounds. There's a computer fan over here that I kept thinking about, and then I heard my dog downstairs shaking its collar, and that was distracting too. But I did notice that I was distracted, and I got back to my counting. So that's exactly what we're trying to do, is notice when we get distracted away from the present moment and just work on bringing our attention back to the present. Alright, thank you for meditating with me. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.